Good morning in uh, Colwyn Bay. And uh, yeah, got a few neighbours there. There's a couple behind me. What a beautiful morning. And uh, it's actually quite warm. So yeah. Bloody lovely. Yeah. <laughs> she sticks it to her place. You go in. <laughs> she found the ball. <laughs> right, I'm going to get a coffee and uh, enjoy this morning. She's got her ball. Well, one she's found. If she doesn't destroy it and they come back, I'll give it them. And it's a beautiful day. <laughs> and you all know me. Two scenes now. Always got time for a coffee. Yeah. Oh, dear. Oh, squinting. Yesterday I was ducking from the rain. <laughs> Friendly place as well, I was just talking to a bloke then with a black Scotty and uh, yeah. He said if he'd have known, he'd have brought him a mug and I'd have, I'd have made him a coffee. <laughs> I would have. It's just the wildlife on this pond here. I don't want her to think she can chase them. Oh dear, it is a beautiful day. Like magic. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. What to do today? I haven't even thought of anywhere to go today. So you got Conway. Down the road, this was Colwyn Bay that we're at now. So, yeah, could go down the beach, but I think it was raining last night, so it's just going to be wet sands, and uh, yeah, I don't fancy that in the in the van. So, I'm going to finish this coffee, enjoy this walk, and I'll catch you later. The XR3i, immaculate. <laughs> yeah, moved about five, six miles down the road to Abigelli and uh, yeah, at the beach.
I'm in a bit of a dilemma now, but when that white van is in front of me, well that post there and that post there is a height barrier, but it's open. He's just pulled on there now, and uh, if you can see there's one, two, and there's another one down the bottom there, high top vans. So yeah. What do I do? I've been down to the shops and I had an ice bought an ice cream and I talked to the owner of the shop and I said, how come the, the height barrier is open on this side? And she sort of frowned and went, is it? And I went, yeah. I said, is it seasonal? You know, is it now because it's coming winter that they leave it open? She said, not normally, no. So I don't want to be on there and then find out in the in the morning that it's been shut, you know. But I don't know if their motorhomes know anything different. I've been down and there's, there's no one there. They must be on a walk or something, but yeah. Uh, and the, the lead down to the beach is on a, a quite a, an incline. Ah, uh, I don't know whether to go to Llan Roost by Betsakoi there. It's only a couple of miles down the road, to be honest, where I am, so... Hmm, what do I do? <laughs> yeah, guys, uh, maybe we're just land roost in the end. Yeah, there was a couple of camper vans coming off the beach, and uh, I said to them, I said, uh, what's happening with that hype body? And he goes, I don't know, he said, I'm not taking the chance, and I thought, hmm, I'm not either. Last thing you want, I know they should really come round and say, look, we're closing the barrier, you know. But yeah, I didn't want to take that chance. So, <laughs> in the year, Slan Roost. So there's uh, plenty of uh, other campers here. There's quite a few down the bottom in the corner there. Some older people. <coughs> Nobody would to play. It is. 20 past five. That one now is not working because uh, it fell off the van and I don't know where. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I stuck it to the roof because the, the back of it has got really good sticky stuff, which it's never fallen off the car. But yeah, it fell off the bloody roof of the van, didn't it? And I didn't, didn't know. And food. Is this why you're being nice to me? Eh? Yeah. Is that why you're being nice? You want some food? <gasps> you want food? Do you want food? Yeah. She looks like she's going to bite your head off, but she doesn't. Oh, that was going to go. Mwah! <laughs> hey, you good? She had a bit of a run on the beach as well, so. She's had a mixed day today, haven't you? It's been been a bit of everything but we're here tonight anyway clan roost it's a lovely little place got a great river at the back of us so yeah i'm not going to venture down there tonight but i might pop down there in the morning give you give you show you give you show you what it's about the, the river so yeah chicken casserole i'm gonna have mashed potato yeah I was, going to, I was thinking of new potatoes, but I got chilli. So I might have the, the new potatoes with chilli. And have the casserole with mashed potato. Done. <laughs> See you in a minute. Goodbye! Yeah, right, guys, this is the chicken casserole. Got some great lumps of chicken in here, fair dues. Carrots, peas, and uh, I've got the instant mashed potato, which is doing its thing in there. I don't know if you can see. Doing its thing in there. That ain't looking too bad at all, is it? Bloody awesome. I'll catch you in a bit. Yep, that was absolutely amazing. Definitely getting that again. This is why I don't film most nights, this is how she is. 
just sleeps on you. Then, yeah. Kerek, what's all this red come from? <laughs> Got the lights working. Yeah. Plus, I've always struggled at night. Look at that, they run straight through the cupboards so I can see exactly what's in there and what's in there. <laughs> Gotta chill out now with my new lights and uh, if I remember I'll speak to you soon. If not, it'll be good morning! <laughs> Good morning from Sage. Oof. She's just gonna go in that bloody river. I'm warning you now, no. That's your last warning. Yeah, clan roost. And uh, it's a chilly one. Oh my God. Yeah. That diesel eater came in at the right time. It was a quarter to six this morning. I really felt the cold coming through the bed, so I put the diesel heater on and uh, it was six degrees inside the van. So, <laughs> oh yeah, it was a chilly one. I'm swapping hands at the moment like this because yeah, this one's bloody cold. <laughs> oh yeah, so. Oh, it's a, see my breath. <laughs> She doesn't care, does she? She's just running around like an idiot. Yep. Oh, blinking heck. And see, you can see the steam coming off the, or the cold, I should say, coming off the water. River's really high. Compared to last time I was here, anyway. All I can hear is her footsteps, like a bloody horse coming up and down. <laughs> You've only got to stop and pretend to go the other way. She's darting straight at you. Yeah, that, uh, see, it was bloody cold this morning in, in the van. Yep. Oh. Oh, dear me. Just taking it all in. I love a morning walk. Never used to. Don't get me wrong, I hated cold. But yeah, it's uh, surprising how you change. You come here. Oh, bloody hell. Oh. How's everybody, anyway? I want to thank you all for subscribing. Yeah, it does mean a hell of a lot. I was looking on my... Um, YouTube uh, studio and I'm half and half. Half of my viewers have subscribed, half haven't. Fitch. So please, the ones that haven't subscribed, press subscribe. <laughs> Go on, press it. I know you want to. <laughs> Uh, God, all this bank's been taken away. That was just over, overgrown last time I was here. Must be something to do with our house. But look at this. It's Sod's Law, isn't it? Sod's Law. I turned the camera off to get a different shot and a bloody big fish jumped. It was huge. just see the rainbow colours on it, so it was rainbow trout, but oh, it was a big one. God, that was just a trickle last time I was here. That's where I am. Yeah, I tend to feed her before we go for a walk. And then she settles down for about half an hour in the van after she's eaten. And then we go for a walk. 
because I find that if I walk her first, and because she does nothing but run, when I get back to the van, she won't eat her food because she's too on the go. Whereas if you catch her when she's, yeah, like docile ish, she'll eat. Weird. Yeah, but I never run her, take her for a walk as soon as she's eaten because uh, it can give them bloat. Yeah. God almighty. <laughs> she makes me laugh, honestly. It's like as if you've never been on a walk before and all this is new to you. Oh, heading back the van now, it is freezing. Hey! I wish you wouldn't just peer into the water's edge like that. It's bloody heart attack. <laughs> I ain't going in after you. It's too bloody cold. Oh, <clears throat> got the kettle on now. There's a good lad down there. He's just come up to put his rubbish in the bin. He's Scottish. He's just travelling down from uh, Scotland. Him, his wife, and uh, two kiddies. Yeah, in a uh, series sprinter. He's got no heating. And uh, bloody hell, it was cold this morning. He said they've had the cooker on for ages, trying to heat the van, bless them. Uh, right, got the kettle on. It's there. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'll come back to you when I've had a drink. Um, I can't really see my, well, it's gone, just gone now from 13 to 12 degrees inside the van, but I got, both windows are open and the sliding doors open, so. Yeah. Toasty this morning, no? That word, toasty. <laughs> I was warm. Catch you in a bit. Oh, right, guys. I want to thank you for joining me on these couple of days. For three days, I think it is. Up to now. <laughs> on this video, anyway. So, uh, take care. And, uh, be good, be safe, and enjoy yourselves. Take care, guys, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. From this one and myself, bye. Take care.